I'm going to open the C line to write our first program, which is the hello world. So hello world is the standard whenever you are going to learn any kind of language. So I have created a project. So for now, I'm going to create another project, a new project, so you guys can easily understand. So just go to the file and go to the project. Project that means I'm going to add or create all the files inside this project. Make sure this is the C project. You can select anything from here. Like if you are working with the C++, you can use this one. If you are using C, just click on this one. And as you can see, these are the versions available here. So you have to select the version. So let's suppose I'm saying C90 version. This is the location of the project where we can, we are going to store our project and I'm going to write our project name. I'm saying C language. Just click on the enter button. I'm saying open this one in this window. So now I'm going to zoom in so you guys can easily understand. So before starting or writing the code, you have to add the header. Which header? I'm saying include studio dot h. So this is the header you have to use. And now I'm saying wide main. This is the functions, which is a main functions. That means whenever you are going to execute this particular file, the system automatically executed or will execute this particular main method or the functions i'm saying printf which is the built-in functions in c language to just print out the results so in our case we are saying hello world now just click on this one and click on the results so as you can see it's showing us hello world so you have successfully executed your first program. Okay, so if you click on this one, you can also use the shortcut Control Shift 10 to run this particular file. If you want to debug, just click on the debug. So the system checks your coding. So let's suppose if you missed something, the editor already telling you that this is the error. But before running, you have to check this. And as you can see, it, it's saying that printf, you have something wrong here, line number 3. So this is the line number 3, as you can see, and here we forgot to add the double quotation. Make sure this is that double quotation, this is the double quotation. You have to use the specific string like hello world apple or whatever strings you have. I'm fine. So I said. So you have to use inside these two double quotation. Okay. So we are adding the headers. So our printf and scanf functions. Why we are adding the headers? We're going to discuss about these things in our later videos. But for now, you have to use the include studio dot dash. You have to use this functions white main two brackets and these are two curly braces so these are the constants for now you are writing the program here so this is your first program single statement single line of program we are gonna also create another control c control v that means the system show or you are going to print out these two strings hello world hello world as you can see here i'm saying just use backslash n that means new line so once again run the program so now as you can see now you have a new line if you are using this backslash n that means you are saying start from the new line so after this the system always start from the new line this one you can also use here also create another printf that means you are saying three times you are going to print the hello world 
so hello world it's very simple 